Welcome to the first episode of Fortnite Stereotypes. The first episode is going to be about the skins. And let me just read the disclaimer that please don't get offended over these stereotypes. Stereotypes, not everyone, not all, just some. This is all a joke, and it's not for young children. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. The skin is basically a copy from the Minecraft Trivia skins. Also, only noobs use the skin. Plus, I don't see people wearing this skin anymore. The skin is basically a tryhard gamer who dresses up in a full beard and suit to act like John Wick. Also, now all John Wick tryhards suck, and now because of using him a lot. Rip his Balgo. This skin is basically Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, but in a shit-covered jacket and Mad Max helmet, which are usually seen being played as by tryhards who still do take the L. Take the L is only good with the beef ball skin now. Hey, can you bring me the power cord? No, I said power cord. Ah, thank you, dude. Sparkle Specialist! This skin is basically a walking emo disco ball who are those type of people who BM you and dance on top of your dead body. P.S. This isn't a Logan Paul reference, guys. The skin is basically the fish gorilla guy from Megamind that plays in duos only. The skin is basically a walking cheeseburger that has googly eyes and is a superhero. Players use this skin for playing in duos and solos. The skin is basically a woman's version of Neil Armstrong that never actually got popular. Only Traps played this avatar. The skin is basically from a battle pass during a season 4 and the community uses the, the skin for the challenges to make the, the skin as mighty as Super Saiyan Goku. <laughs> Well, that was the first episode of Fortnite Stereotypes. If you guys want more, please hit the like button. Hope you subscribe to the video. Give me some feedback what I should put next. And don't forget to hit that little bell. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Wow, all the 10-year-olds are going to kill me now. But who cares?